Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Arnold Duck and we are playing your opponent Solace 4 with the newest DLC Golden Century, we're playing on hard and Lucky Nation set to a Sorok. Welcome back to our Venice playthrough. Yeah, we're trying to get away from the uh, from the mercenaries over here. We have a fair amount of mercenaries in our armies and oh we can have, we can invite five people to a trade league, really? Um Baden, Savoy, Salzburg, Ulm and Württemberg would join. Kind of was hoping that Travis Son might join to get some Black Sea power. Yeah, it's actually possible now. I tell you what, we're like a uh, we're a great power. We're a great power. Why don't we influence them? That's like thirteen bucks. That trust of us changes by five. So now they're going to go for the Trade League. And that's going to effectively give us um, a window or like a, an entry into this area over here to frustrate the Ottomans. Uh, I want to stop these guys from being annexed by anyone. And it's going to give us some Black Sea trade power. And we're already trading. Um, so yeah, come on. Very good. So Travison is now part of this. So I would like to have Salzburg in a trade league as well. They like us a lot. The size of the trade league is um, against us, I guess. But oh well. Mm, oh yeah, right. And we've been we've been thinking about. We have been thinking about helping the knights um, fight off their rebellion. That's probably something that we should do to boost our trust with them. Now, yeah, they're still being besieged. Listen, knights, I'm gonna do some influence to boost their trust because I wanna I wanna diplomatize them. Forty three versus fifty five. We'll have these guys attached to this fleet. We come down here and we land our troops on the island and take out those rebels. Otherwise they are going towards dire times. So listen Salzburg. Join my trade league. Yes. Um, anyone, else, anyone else interested in being invited? Baron is interested. Ulm is interested. Savoy is interested, Württemberg is interested. Ulm, what are you? Are you a free city? Is Ulm one of the free cities? Um, Memmingen, Dithmarschen, yeah, Ulm is a free city. So they're never gonna grow bigger. What are they operating in? Yeah, Ulm is actually... Ulm is good. Ulm is good. Well, I, I'd like to have Ulm in my trade league. Okay. That gives us a lot of power to pull from Austria here. To deter to uh, steer towards Venice. We're done with Trebizond. Still people interested in joining the trade league. Now, let's, let's have a look at that. So, it's Württemberg. Savoy and Baden. I'm not interested in any Rhineland people, but I guess Württemberg could join. And Savoy, I mean, would give us power in the Genoa node. And this is kind of the way that we can protect power, uh, project power. So let's do it. Let's invite Württemberg to the trade league. And then Savoy might be a double-edged sword, really. Because um, they might pull us into a conflict with France. But I just have to hope that France doesn't throw away the possibility for a um, for an alliance away. As soon as we get an additional trader, we could probably start collecting in Genoa.
Uh, I would like to join. All League members join in defensive wars. That means if they attack Savoy, Savoy is also going to be protected by all the other tiny states. So yeah, we'll, we'll pull them in. Why not? This is fun. We have now a very, very big trade league. Um, look at this. We'll have Parma, Modena, the Knights, Memmingen, Croatia, Trebizond, Salzburg, Ulm, and Württemberg. It's a lot of people for a trade league, I think. There's still one person. Yeah, Baden would still like to be part of the trade league. I have no idea if that's actually going to be helpful. Do we want Baden in the trade league? I kind of don't think so. Who's next? Mainz? Utrecht? No, no. Cologne. I mean, does it cost us anything? Who's interested in Baden? Who are your allies? Croatia, Augsburg, Austria, Nuremberg. I think it's very likely that that is not going to be a problem. I really would like to have Nuremberg in my trade league, though. Because of historical reasons. Neutral attitude. Could influence them. It only would cost us 37 bucks. Nuremberg is also in the Rhineland trade node. Eh, okay, let's take Baden in there. Invite them to the trade league. Okay. Oh. They're gonna have a little bit of power everywhere. What are these guys? Catholic zealots? Uh, the knights are Catholic too. Wouldn't it be good for them if the Catholic zealots actually took this over? Why do you have Catholic zealots? What's happening there? Can we land them here? No, we need we need access. 43 we 55. Um, so yeah, let me let me move on to your land. Come on, I'm gonna help you. These Catholic zealots, they're not gonna do good things to your country. We'll help you. We'll help you, dear knights. Friendly. Somewhat. Yeah, they have no cannons. Okay, that should that should make them happier. Uh should be defended our land at some point. Historical friends, great power influence, improved relations. No? <laughs> Once your subject's provinces. I mean, it's only a minus one modifier. I guess they know that... Hmm. Maybe liberated our province only happens when... They have, like, another thing. They have no debt. Knights has no allies. Hmm, we can't afford the income of Byzantium, but we can also use this to, like, make them happier. We could send them a gift. Yeah, have some money. We'll drop our troops back off in Venetia. Liege. As at the end of religious turmoil, those smaller states are often pretty stable. Ferony separatists, Cretan separatists. We're doing pretty well. Our land is stable. Uh, we're kind of recovering from a bunch of things. Uh, do we want to use the military as a workforce to gain more base tax? Sure. Baden will no longer steer trade to Venice. Merchants in Baden will surely rejoice. Well, I mean, they kind of joined my trade league, though. Ottomans have claimed Crete. I mean, they can if they want to. Okay, Switzerland actually gonna go through with this. Okay, we have another election. 142061533. A 533 looks pretty promising. It's kind of what we need. The guy is already going to be pretty old. I think we'll let the lottery decide again. 142, sure. Come on, land our troops. 
<sighs> I want to get rid of the mercenaries slowly but surely. That guy is now benevolent. Awesome. Now... Still not 100% sure about having Savoy in the trade league. I gotta say. I'm just not... Yeah. Difficult. That's gonna be something that helps us. Or oh, pulls us into war with France. France cancel the military access. Um, why are you mad? Just aggressive expansion. This definitely seems to be a thing where they are, where they do want to go after Savoy. I just don't get why Switzerland is able to pull in France all the time. I do not get this. So, I guess we're going to kick out that wounded regiment. I don't want to look too weak. But I guess we can relax at least a bit. Uh, still over force limit, but let's just bring the army maintenance down. That brings us a lot of money. Uh, we can mothball these guys. There are no rebels, really, that are going to pop, so... We'll just have some... we we'll have a nice, peaceful time here. Candidates vie for opportunities. As a republic, we strive to strike a balance between economic interests and tradition. We choose our advisors accordingly. Families who know this, patricians and aristocrats alike, try to plan ahead and get their representatives into positions of opportunity before they seek to advise um, the doge directly. Oh, no pos uh, position offering such opportunities recently opened. We can either gain a level 3 skill... Uh, discipline Commandant, who's cheaper. Or uh, a trader, level 3 trader. I don't want to give up the diplomatic reputation, so someone experienced in military matters would be good. Kind of don't have the money to get that person yet, but I'm sure we can get there. Ottomans are no longer considered a great power. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's decide not to entertain Ottomans' claims for greatness. So we've improved with Switzerland as much as possible. Genoa likes us now. Um, have a claim. Did I not see historical friend? Maybe not. Let's improve with Genoa. As long as Genoa exists, we're also kind of living well. And the only way to get a Genoa is to go for Mantua. Expand overseas. We haven't done that. We could probably actually go with high income to reduce construction costs at some point. But we'll leave it be for now. Okay, we're going to maintain the diplomat with France, I think. Knights wants an alliance. Uh, it's going to take a relationship slot. <laughs> I kind of don't want that. I mean, we're going to need it if we want to vassalize them, but currently they're not taking away an additional slot. Oh no, yeah, we we have the military access with them. Okay. Kind of have to stop that too. Hmm. Nope. I'm sorry, knights. It's not something that we can do. Call the diplomat. Uh, they're going to be a bit mad that we didn't go for their alliance, but we're going to cancel military access. Or 
Why did you cancel my military access? They have no strategic interest in it. They will give me military access. They're friendly. A good opinion of us. We can, we can demand from them that they break their alliance. No. Mantua. Can I force Mantua to break an alliance? No. No castle's belly. Trust towards Modena. Hmm. Trust towards Venice. And they're in debt. For some reason, Castile is always in debt. Okay, I recall this guy when I improve with Poland, I guess. Yeah. I'll give you military access to Poland. Just so you're a little bit friendlier. Yeah. Bavaria is kind of mad at us, I guess. Let's improve relations. They've, they've flipped to Protestant now. It's a bit of a scary sight. The Reformation is coming closer. Michele Polani and his family. So we have a merchant family from Milan. Um, greatly expanded our long range trade with the Mamluks. Uh, we just take the free trade power. Okay, Tolerant Society is what they went with. Can we do anything for these guys? I don't think so. Cannot make them better. I really would like them to build up to their force limit more. They have a ton of manpower. They're at their manpower max. Like four men below it. But they're just not going for anything there. Just content to have 8,000 troops. Come on, build up your march too. Probably should pick a rival to keep the power projection bonus. I mean, I can pick the Papal State. I could pick the Papal State. It's not going to help my, uh, my other things, though. They are fighting France. Does it mean you're fighting France? Yeah. What are you trying to achieve? French conquest of Provence. Yeah, interesting, interesting. <clears throat> Austria would still defend them. Poland would come in. Poland are just like, yeah, sure, let's go. Um, Castile is in debt and is not interested. We we're breaking a truce, though. Poland would even come into this. <laughs> If it means breaking a truce, this would create 132 aggressive expansion. Everyone would be super mad. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, do we want that, though? It is going to spread um, the Reformation quicker in our lands. Could also take Lithuania. The army is weaker, the navy is weaker. Picking on Lithuania kind of seems wrong. Poland, no, never. Maybe it's just Genoa that we that we pick on. Nah. Paper State wants it. We can just try to eclipse them. So listen. Um about your trade. We can't issue an embargo while we have a truce. Oh man, that's annoying. There's an embargo here, with an embargo here. Ooh, look at that. Yes. Constantinople. Awesome. Let's go for Athens next. Really want it. Now, Greek is an accepted culture. I probably don't want to spend the points. I think we have to, like, tech up a little, falling behind. Personal officers. We're gonna get the Condotta infantry. Um, before we don't have that, we shouldn't really go into any wars. Uh, 
How's my force limit? So 37. I have to get rid of two here. One, two. Thanks for your service. Trade conflict with Baal, and I don't care to press that, to press that thing. We're almost up to forty bucks in trade income. Pretty sick what we can get out of that. Oh, we can actually send like a nasty insult to the Ottomans. Scornful, in scornful insult. It is a dangerous wonder how a heathen such as yourself. I uh, could acquire such a rich and prosperous land. Luckily, that will soon be rectified. Oh yeah, I have to do this. The dreadful state of your economy is a warning to all would-be rulers. <laughs> yep, yep. Ottomans, you stink. <laughs> uh, Papal state have claimed more of my lands. I feel like going after them now uh, would still like achieve pulling all their friends in. Going after Bosnia could be fun, but I don't have a CB. Uh, and the Papal State will not protect them. <laughs> oh man, Bosnia. Your friends, your friends are really not your friends. You know? I could... I could probably uh, diplobastalize both of these. I mean, the trust is super bad on the on the Serbian side. Yeah, it could be done. I think. Uh, let's pay a loan. Recall the diplomat from Austria. I think we can still improve with Castile for now. We want to keep them a little bit um, as a deterrent. So that means we'll get rid of. Two more mercenaries. Slowly but surely getting rid of all of them. We have that golden century. Um, or the golden era. That boosts our morale. Our army morale. But we're not really making anything out of it. Papal state will be forced to give Friesland. It's going to pay money to the papal state. That's hilarious. Why? Can never do anything to you guys. Hmm. I would just need a little bit more oomph for this. Like one or two diplomatic reputation would do this already. Okay, trade ideas. Trade steering. At those key choke points where trade could go one way or another, the ability to gain an edge there is key to the growth of our trade income. I mean, I kind of agree. Naval maintenance modifier. That is that is actually pretty helpful. <laughs> We're not going to be able to get that with those two, though. Um, do we need to catch up here? I don't think so. I think we can. I think we can try to finish our ideas, especially since that also reduces the cost of the next tech. And we do have a heavy emphasis on this. Gaining 11 points here. I mean, our ruler is kind of shitty at this point. For sure. Oh, we have two, uh, two idle diplomats. That should never happen. Switzerland loves us now. Yeah, I guess they're fighting for France this time. We have a diplomat in France permanently. We have a diplomat over there. Um, let's improve with Poland. We should probably top this off. Anything else? Anhalt just doesn't like us. They still have aggressive expansion with us. It's just scary. All these countries. Whoa, we're making 30 bucks now per month. That is a sizable amount. We're also getting one from gold. How so? Hmm. Should probably convert these places. We're never gonna have enough Serbian provinces to accept Serbia as a thing. 
That can infiltration. Bribes are not an uncommon practice, and with the right amount of money, we could perhaps manage to influence a cardinal to infiltrate a religious order. Sure, let's do it. More papal influence is nice. I want more mercantilism. Can make it happen let's do it okay so um, I'm actually gonna be able to push some of my centers of trade to be more important so why don't I upgrade the center of trade in Constantinople to a level 2 one finally have the money to do that kind of stuff and it's gonna result in us making even more money we're almost at the point where we're making 40 in trade income I mean, I know, I know. In the Dutch campaign, we had, like, crazy amounts. Yeah, we actually broke in the, the 40 uh, ducats mark. But for 1,512, 40 in trade come is sick. That's a lot of money. We are probably the country with the most income in the world. Let me just check that. Country income. Yep. <laughs> like, we're outnumbering England by a fair share. <laughs> We're making, we're also making a sizable amount more money than France. I mean, granted, France is stronger than we are in terms of troops. I know truce with the Papal State has ended. Uh, you know what that means. That means we're gonna embargo them right away. Foreign plots. Wild rumors are circulating about our nobility plotting with foreign powers. Hysteria grows and the mood is fearful. People demand that we strike at the traitors, but wiser minds say that we must let the tradition of Republican justice take its course. Well, I really don't want to lose stability. We can afford that Republican tradition loss. And this gives me enough money to build up a couple additional centers of trade. So Durazzo is going to get upgraded. And I guess Athens is going to get upgraded. All this is going to result in us making more money. It's a pretty heavy investment. <laughs> Actually, it didn't. What? And we lost our Admiral. Ooh, nice. That is like a full maneuver, Admiral. That is going to help us quite a bit, I think. There's a trading post of the Genoans in here. And they, f they have an entrepot in uh, Sogla. What else can we do? We can build up Verona now. Increase our home province trade share. Okay. Brandenburg. Reformation branches out. Brandenburg is now reformed. Hey, finally. Military Tech 9. We need it. Okay, so now we're gonna change our troops. I think we're gonna go... I think we're actually gonna go Landsknecht. And do we go Condotta? Defensive Shock, Defensive Shock. They have more defensive morale though. I think we'll go Condotta. This is fine. Fars is done. Yeah, we're still only making 41. Maybe upgrading these centers of trade isn't all that helpful. It will probably be better spent just putting down some marketplaces. Uh, we don't really have marketplaces in all our important trade areas. <clears throat> okay, one, two, one, two, I want to get rid of the mercenaries and then we can slowly but surely let the rest, um, let the manpower trickle back in. We should probably take quantity ideas at some point just to make sure that we are at least <clears throat> at an even footing with some of the bigger nations, but at least they're not uh, on the super high level here. What are you You're fighting, Clemson? We're gonna improve relations for now, but I, I do want to take Urbino and Florence from them. 
Soonish. Soonish. 41 in trade. 32 bucks, so... Basically, the taxation and 10 of our trade income is paying all our expenses. We still have some interest. We could consider just repaying the things. Yay! Converted the heretics of Athens. Let's go ahead and get some more mercantilism. It's always helpful. Now, next up. Yeah, Zeta is probably is probably the best one here. Uh, oh, it's not really true. Crete, Naxos, Negroponte. Now let's go with the with the higher level stuff. Uh, Kosovo also needs to be pushed. Not accepted. Culture development, Orthodox. The Orthodox guys are not holding out for too long here. Might as well kind of make peace in this area at least. And we can then also change the culture, so we could actually have this area be all Venetian. That might be good if we want to hold on to it. Okay, that happened. Should we upgrade Milan? So that's going to give me just five additional trade power. Uh, it's in both. It's the same in both places. Uh, marketplace we already have though, so it's gonna give me 7.5, I guess. Let's do it. I'm getting a ton of money at this point. Uh, doesn't really matter how we spend that, as long as it is in some way geared towards increasing our trade. We're almost up to 42 trade now. There's also a consideration to increase our trading fleet by building more light ships. Like, that is actually not a big trade fleet. <laughs> but we're already way above our cap. So, I wonder if that's a good thing. I mean, we can continue to just mothball the fleets when we need them. <sighs> and we can use the light ships to fight as well if we want to. Um, when are we gonna get the next ship types? I mean, we can always, yeah, maybe we'll just wait until we have the caravels and then go for like a big light ship building program. It might take a while though, and we can always upgrade the fleet later down the line, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, for now, we're definitely gonna end it here. Um, so far, there are no real opportunities for us to go after someone, but it's actually good to have like a time of peace, rebuild a little, um, gain a little bit more stability. Um, we had stability too, we're making a lot of money, building up our lands. We don't have a lot of buildings in our lands either. We're gonna actually take the reward from this mission and just go nuts on the, on the building. Reduce the construction cost and construction time. That's probably something where our country could benefit a lot. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye bye.